Hello again for what it is. Your Black Knight. And happy, happy DLC Eve, everybody. It is the evening before the DLC, and I'm doing a little science for you today. For instance, I started a timer when I started to load GTA. I now know it takes me about four minutes to get into the game and fix the audio. But I'm trying to figure something out. You see, what we're going to do is we're going to do another payphone hit, which is significant. Yo, what you need? Cause all right, shit. Hey, let nice me make a few calls. Cause right now I am at ninety nine million nine hundred ninety thousand four thousand four hundred sixty two dollars. So with this payphone hit, successful or not, if I get the bonus or not, I'll get something. Unless the computer crashes, which is always a possibility, especially if I'm recording. But with this payphone hit, I will cross one hundred million dollars in anticipation of the DLC. And if I could do another million after that, I'll have gotten basically $20 million doing this because I, I, I had burned myself down from 85 million back down to 81. Right, look, so the internet is a huge... You don't really need to don't hear the whole story. You go right to the trolls. Trolls is not a bad one to measure by. Now my goal here is I'm going to measure how long it takes for me to do this mission Exit out and then reload. Get to the point where I'm reloading the game, and that'll be my full cycle time. And then I can figure out, you know, how long it's taking me to uh, to do to, to, to how long it takes to do one of these, you know, roughly. And then we can figure out how many, you know, dollars per minute we're doing, and it's to run them over on. Good. That that's a relatively quick. Brutal, I will admit. But I have been doing what a lot of people do at KO Prigo, just grinding this over and over again. And grinding up crows. Would you just die already? Wow, he was really resilient. So, here's what I'm thinking. I mean, I think Kayo Perico is about, by some estimates, if you're good at it, like a million and a half per hour. I'm probably not that good at it. It'll probably take me a little bit longer. I'm willing to bet this gets me somewhere around a million an hour. I'm gonna, we're going to try and figure that out. And obviously, this one is just going to be a sample. I mean, there's going to be an average. Some of them are really fast. If you do the, uh, if you get the bulldozer job, believe it or not, the one that I always struggled with, if you just fly there and immediately shoot the blue bulldozer, he runs the guy right over. Whole mission takes three minutes. Other times, you get the pop star one. And you chase him around with the phantom. Oh yeah, that takes a little while long. So if there's an average, and I think this is a good, a good mission as far as finding an average. Well, that was that was quicker than the last one. We're we're good there. But more interestingly, I've been doing what the uh, the KO grinders do. I've been doing nothing but this for the most part. There's been a little bit in here and there. Like I did, I would do the odd. Uh, Sail from my bunker, for example, as we're flying past, just to just to keep it moving. You know, some I did do some things in between. And when I first started doing this, I wasn't I wasn't doing the cooldown trick where you just exit the game and go back in. The cooldown's gone. Normally, there's a 20 minute cooldown. You you do some other things, but as far as pure pure payphone hits, how does that work out materially? We're already at eight minutes twenty seconds. We're at eight twenty and counting. So I'm guessing with the computer startup kind of thing, well, that's slow down. You know, with, with loading the game, it's going to come out, I don't know, 10, 11 minutes, somewhere in there. So you could probably, if you want to, you could try to do the math yourself here. I'm going to do the hard math, you know, with the actual numbers when we get them done. We should probably have just dropped to the road and driven. We should do, do that around here. That would have been a little faster. 
we can go faster with the wheels down on the ground. Let me break here. Hey -o! Back to the skies. I figure, why not do a little science so we can see how well it's been going, you know? I think I worked it out. We're already past the 1.5 million mark. That's around seven minutes of complete total turnaround time. The actual load in time was larger than I thought it would be. But, you know, that four minutes is a lot. But four minutes is a lot better than 20. So, you know, we're, we're clearly, we're clearly ahead of the game here now. Literally ahead of the game. Oh dear, he's in a little hole now. Now where are we going? See, this is the kind of thing that can happen. Where did he go? I have never had this happen before. Where he is hiding in a hole. We're losing time. Thank you. the toughest time that's the toughest kill I've ever had on that guy and I've done that a lot okay so we're hit complete I like to let the hit complete just for pure paranoia let that fade out so we're done we're done here exit out and now we have to wait for this to come back up where it's no longer saying stop and the instant I hit start, okay, we, we are, we've now at the point where we've started the, you know, that's where I started the timer. So that was 11 minutes, five seconds. Let's just call it 11 minutes. We'll, we'll just, uh... So if we're talking, we're new to math here, $170,000 divide by 11 we're making 15,454 change per minute. So times an hour, you're getting $927,272. So on average, that's that is not quite as good as Cayo Perico, but it has some advantages. It's almost as good, clearly, because we're nearly at a million bucks an hour. Some of them are quicker, some of them are slower. So what's the overall, if we did this average over... You know, 10 of them or something like that would be better, would be less. It's certainly on par. But here's the trick. What I can do is I can do one of them and get 170K. And then if I can do three of them, then you get, you know, roughly half a million or so like that. And so I can do this in chunks and spurts. And if I don't get back to it, I have gains. It's not like I have to put the full hour into a Cayo Perico heist to get the big payback. So you, you get your money in smaller bites, and there's there's some nice advantages to that. Now, if the game crashes, I'm just uploading because I've been not having good luck with with rendering and stuff like that. This is going to be a one chunk video, one way or another. So, but now you can see the whole process. That did seem like that did seem a little bit faster, didn't it? And I did hit. I hit lap on the timer, but then it stopped. Okay, well. So we won't measure it again, but we're going to do another one anyway. I feel like that was less than four minutes. So we're kind of on par here, I think. So we go down. Oh, here we go. There we go. I think that should... That should save us. Yo, what you need? Let me make a few calls. Which one will we get this time? Maybe it'll be a terrible one. 
I've been playing a little game with myself for how often can I guess which one it's going to be. I feel like it might be the judge. This could be a cautionary tale though, homie. I'm just trying to... The cautionary tales take a little longer sometimes. Hey, I will give you this target's name, but I know you haven't heard... Tech Entrepreneur. Tech Entrepreneur is a pretty... Oh, it's the pop star. The Tech Entrepreneur keeps a low profile too. So that's the pop star one. This is a longer one. Always is. The pop star is the one you don't want to necessarily get. One of the things you can do, if it seems like it's going to be too brutal, it might be just quicker. The Vegas Lowrider, yeah, the Vagos Lowrider, not the Vegas Lowrider, the Vagos Lowrider is not that bad as far as taking time. Especially if you know ahead of time where Imani's going to tell you to go get the car, so you can just head over that way. The Phantom, that could take time. The police chase down, that's you know tricky too, but if you can just get up and shoot him. Now, maybe you'll get away on me. I've had that happen where you have to really chase him down. To fill him with bullets. And if you've done any of these, you know, these are all terrible, terrible people. So I'm doing good things here by murdering them. Um, kids, that's not really true. What are these guys? This is the normal scene for this. Oh, there it is. I've never seen this one before. That's cool. Yay, yay, whoop, whoop. I said yay, yay, whoop, whoop. Yay, yay, whoop, whoop. I'm going to take this car right in front of y'all. Hey, yay, whoop, whoop. Yeah, cheer me on with the whoop, whoop. This car has no tail handling here. It's just all over the place. They, they mount the... Oh, we we'll, we'll need the map. We just need the map. Come on, give me the map. Where is this guy? Let's go here. We'll close on him from that way. Hopefully he comes back to us a little bit. Now, as far as the DLC itself, I am not planning on doing some kind of major coverage of this at the beginning. I'm going to be... Wow, did you see how that, that truck sped up and slowed down and then sped up? Mix made sure I hit it. That's what you can do with, like, math if you're a computer. Um, maybe, like, in a computer game. 